gracious me! Don't gamble with FIFA points, head straight to the source at u7bike.com and if you use the code TVM at the checkout, you'll get yourself a discount. Link in the description. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to another video in which we are going to look at the 91 rated footies winner Fred. Now this was meant to be released at 6, they took like an extra 15-20 minutes because, well, EA. They also released another juicy SBC which I'm sure everyone did, right? Yeah? Probably not. I didn't. I turned it off straight away. Four star, four star, left footed, high, high, five, seven. Fred is one of those cards that for me personally, I loved in the early stages of the game. He was very, very good. Unfortunately, he didn't have enough in the way of quality to keep him going for that length of time. It sort of died off very quickly because there were cards coming out that were better than him and he couldn't keep up. And in the end, just sort of drifted away. The UCL card kept him going a little bit longer, but... This has been a long time coming. Uh, it's it's well overdue for us to have a special Fred card. A lot of people will look at it and instantly go, no, I don't like it. And if we go into the in-game stats, 69 strength would be a massive off-put. And I, I get it. You know, it, it's not a, a player that necessarily does well in real life. Unless you're a Man United fan, you probably don't care. I'm quite happy that he won. I mean, I would have preferred Renato Sanchez, although Renato Sanchez would not have fit in my team. This Fred card does fit in my team. Am I going to do it on my account? No. Uh, and I'll explain that a little bit later. But um, uh, let's go through the stats first and foremost. Then he's on 10 chem, of course. We will apply the chem cell in a second. 85 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. Some really nice shooting stats in there, which is not something you'd necessarily expect from... Well, not expect, but not something you may need from this card. It depends on how you play with it. Personally, I've gone to improve the defensive stats... Uh, as well as the refine the passing stats because I want to use him as a CDM. He, he's obviously going to be a perfect box to box, but I, he's going to be a CDM and a 4-2-3-1 for me. I play 4-2-3-1, and I, I, at that point in the game now where it, there's no point trying to relearn another formation, I'm happy with it, I'm going to stick with it. So Fred either has to play there or he has to play Cam. I don't really feel like I want him to be Cam because I have players that are far better suited to that position. So... It's CDM or nothing for Fred, so that's why he's there. Now, his shooting stats are decent to have, just in case, but they're not a necessity. His passing stats are phenomenal, 98 short passing. 87 vision could definitely be higher. We will look to improve that with the chem style, not by an awful lot, but then again, it doesn't really need an awful lot. His dribbling stats across the board are fine. There is absolutely nothing wrong with what he has there. You don't need to dribble with him if you're playing him as a CDM, even as a box-to-box -box realistically you don't need to be doing that much dribbling with him his reactions and, and composure are fine ball control is very very good and of course his agility and balance for someone of 5-7 you'd expect to be very good and it is his defensive stats are good but we are going to improve them they need improving if you're going to use him how i'm going to use him and then of course his jumping is phenomenal stamina is perfect strength is very low considering he is the position that he is and then his aggression is okay nothing wrong with that at all the team that I've got him in is a bit of a weird one, all in all. I mean, I'm not really playing to the way that I like to play the game, which is the meta. But that's because this account that I'm using doesn't really have players that fit the way that I want to play. They're, they're mainly all relatively short and, and good on the ball kind of players. Now, in terms of chem style, very briefly, don't want to keep you here too long on this screen before we jump into the gameplay. I'm obviously going to give him a catalyst. Now, can you imagine? I'm going to go all the way back down here. Need to be improving that defensive stat, right? So backbone is what we've done he's now going to go up to 98 stand tackle 96 marking his heading gets an improvement there but it's not really that big a deal because he's too short anyway even with 99 jumping as he has now uh, 95 interceptions which is the stat we realistically want the most because he's going to be making more interceptions than doing anything else I tend to cut passing lanes with these type of players. And then, of course, 88 stand, uh, sorry, slide tackle in there is a very nice stat to have. Turns him into a 94-rated CDM or a 94-rated central midfield player. And, of course, you do refine the, the passing somewhat. The crossing's up to 87, not that we're realistically going to use it because he's a central player. Long passing goes up to 97 and vision up to 92, which is quite an important stat there uh, for getting the ball out from the back. Now, 74 strength isn't great, but at least it's better than 69. Will you see the difference? Probably not. Uh, all in all, though, in terms of that card as a whole, without looking at the price tag, without looking at the SBC... It's a good card. Is he a little too short? Maybe. I have Zanetti next to him, 
who is of course 5'10". Not a lot in it really between the two. You like to have sort of little and large in terms of CDMs. I don't like to play two short CDMs. I'm going to try it today. In fact, my whole team uh, in the final third is relatively short. I don't think there's anyone in the six foot sort of category. They're all sort of 5'10", 5'11". And then, of course, you come to the 5'9", 5'7", 5'10". So, yeah, it's not a very tall front six. Uh, the defense is quite tall, but uh, that remains to be seen as to whether this is going to be good enough. I do have some tall strikers to bring on, but we'll have to wait and see how we get on. Fingers crossed Fred is uh, going to live up to my expectation here. Without any further ado, let's get into the action. My opponent for this game has that Van Dyke that literally is the only card I need to complete my entire team for the year. Has Mares, which is a bit of a meme in itself. It's not a bad team, to be fair. Fred has overcommitted. He's made the interception. It still managed to make it through. Mares breaking down that uh, right hand side. There's Marcus Alonso into Van Dijk. Fred has already made one contribution, to be fair. The lag in the game is getting a little bit ridiculous. Fred's ball back to Ronaldinho is a very good one indeed. Question is, though, can Ronaldinho do anything with it? This is Fred back to Ronaldinho. Instant shot from him and he's hit the crossbar. I can't speak apparently and the ball comes out and, and eventually gets it uh, clear. The lag in the game is really starting to irritate me. There's just stutters and pauses and all sorts of crazy stuff. So far so good though. He's playing particularly well. He's made a few decent interceptions. Ronaldinho has caused a couple of problems already as you'd imagine again a lovely bit of football from Ronaldinho gets in here and nearly scores that's twice Ronaldinho has got in and caused problems um is Ronaldinho and Fred linking up Ronaldinho's back heel was so lackluster that it was never going to get there Fred again backtracking gets there stick a leg I'll tell you what so far he's everywhere pavard has got a chance to play the ball out from the back his passing by the way is phenomenal Griezmann into Fred so much space through the middle here for Jonas. Little scoop and he goes for goal and it's a phenomenal finish from Jonas. What a goal. Flashback Jonas, by the way, if that comes back around, I would 100% recommend you to do it because it is such a good card. But the assist from Fred, there was so much room through the middle, it was almost rude not to. And that finish is superb. Fred has auto lunged in there. The game has basically taken it from me. He's coming back to defend and he makes a great interception. Gets the ball out to Dembele. Despite the lag, this Dem this uh, Fred card sorry, has been brilliant. Uh, this, he's literally not put a foot wrong so far. Looking to play that ball to Fred. Ronaldinho through. Great ball from Fred. Shot from Ronaldinho is saved. Dembele's there. Can't get his head on it. Griezmann can't stick a leg out. We are causing all sorts of problems. And I... I don't know why and I don't know how, but Fred is genuinely at the heart of the whole thing. There's Jonas to Fred to Ronaldinho. Lovely La Croquetas from the Brazilian. He's just lost possession. Fred had made the run, actually, into the space where Ronaldinho had once occupied. Ronaldinho is now back doing Fred's job. Fred is reluctant to come back for some reason. I don't know why. A little touch inside was always going to happen. Pavard mops it up. There's Ronaldinho into Fred. Out to Zanetti, who can drag it forward. Maybe play Dembele around the outside. Fluid football right now. This team is playing exceptionally well together. Ball forward here to Jonas. Back it comes inside. And again from Zanetti to Ronaldinho. Ball comes to Zanetti. He's missed it. Can he... Well, no, he didn't want to take the second bite of the cherry. And that signals half time. We have been absolutely rampant, to be fair, in that first half. And Fred, like I said before, has been at the heart of it. My opponent has had absolutely nothing of the ball. Fred looks up again. I saw Ronaldinho. I thought now nah, against it. I maybe should have played it. There is Fred into Ronaldinho. Fred with the overlap. Just picking up the, the gap in which Ronaldinho has left. Jonas has been hacked down and it's just a fluid bit of football. From start to finish then, Fred was moving into the gap that Ronaldinho had left. Ronaldinho switched into where Fred used to be. Everyone was moving in unison. It was a brilliant move. We've got everyone in defence just trying to block passing lanes. Fred being one of them as well here. And he, I mean, he nearly read it. Ball comes back here to Sissoko. It's played in. It's just no room for the first time shot. Allison throws the ball straight out to Dembele, who doesn't get on the end of it. Here is Fred to make an interception. Very well done by the Brazilian. He's going to get it back in. He's going to play that out wide to Marcus Alonso. Up to Ronaldinho. Mane lays it off. Here's Fred. 
well, I was waiting for Mane to make a run. He didn't want to. Great football in the end to, to find the space. Mane's ball into Ronaldinho was poor. Here's Fred with the interception, though. Little La Croqueta here to make the space. Plays it into Zanetti. Out wide it comes. Just It's just effortless, this is. Let's see if we can get Mane on the end of this. He's got good head in Mane. And the rebound has been uh, popped in the back of the net by, I believe, it's it's Jonas again. He's, uh, he's a good card. I mean, you need to try that out. But again, another good move. Very nice passing move. I went for the header. We've not really got a meta team in terms of heading. No one in the side actually over six foot going forward. Here is Jonas again. Fred on the overlap. Plays through Jonas once more. Looking for the ball around the outside. We are tearing this opponent apart right now. There's Lozano. Ball has been saved by the goalkeeper and the defender alike. And unfortunately, the goal is not going to come that time round. And Virgil van Dijk is there to stop it this time. So I played that first game, as I said, in a 4-3-3. And I didn't actually mean to. Uh, I, I forgot to change my tactics. And then I carried on playing 4-3-3 with this team because it seemed to work. And I didn't lose a single game. And Fred was at the heart of nearly everything going forward. So... Ultimately, what I'm trying to say is box to box is where Fred needs to be played. If you play a 4-2-3-1 and you have him as a CDM, I think he'll still do a very good job for you because his intercepting was brilliant. But I think box to box and allowing him to go forward is what we really need to be doing here. So unless you play something like a 4-3-3 or something, you probably won't get the best out of him. So there's that. You do get some semi-decent packs back. A 55k is good. The 45k is, you know, is what it is really. With all these special cards in packs, realistically, you'd think it would be good, but maybe not so much. I think that it, it generally boils down to where your club is at this stage of the game as to whether this is going to be worth it for you. If you're a Man United fan, yes, get it done. If he's better on paper than any of your other players in the midfield, yes, get it done. If you have room and you can actually fit him in to play him for a few games, yeah, why not get him done? Because he's a very good card. However, if you already have Vieira, Hullet, Zanetti, Petit or any of the other big boys and he doesn't really fit it, you're not a Man United fan, then no, obviously, why are you even considering it? Are you just that bored? Probably. So I think it just generally boils down to who you are and what your club state is like. If you have to sell a lot to get this card, then it comes down to a pure judgment. I think it's a good card, a very good card, actually. But it does ultimately come down to whether you think it's going to be a big improvement in your team or not. I don't know what your team looks like, so I can't give you that answer. But I liked him in the several games that I played with him, and he just seemed to get better and better. Him and Ronaldinho were so, so good together. They just kept sort of slotting into each other's places, and it was just, it was beautiful. I loved it. It was a lot of fun, and I haven't had a lot of fun on FIFA since launch, I don't think. But um, that's going to do it for today. If you have enjoyed the review, smack that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time, goodbye.